Here's five things that we see buyers and sellers doing wrong in the fourth quarter of 2022. The first one is on our luxury properties, you have to know who the buyer is. Those homes aren't put the home up on the market, put a sign in the front yard, hope that it's going to sell and wait. Those, you have to go out and search for those buyers. Those 2 million, 3 million buyers, they're not going to open houses. They're going to events. They're going to soirees. They're going to parties. So you got to spend a little bit of money to attract those buyers. I think the property on Canyon Crest was a great example. Mm -hmm. We did an event with wine and cheese. Of course, who doesn't like wine and cheese? And that buyer actually came through that event and bought the property in less than 30 days. Not only were they impressed with the event, but they saw what kind of party they could have at their new home. So that worked out pretty well. One thing we see buyers doing right now is that they're waiting. They're thinking that you know they've missed the mark or that they should wait until next year not realizing that even though interest rates have gone up, there are so many options for buyers and what they need to do is have a conversation with their trusted real estate agent or their trusted lender and find out what their options are. And I think that goes right into number three. The same thing happens with sellers is that sellers are thinking, I'm going to put my home on in the spring. Well, we're talking to sellers right now that are doing paint, flooring, staging, and getting ready to do pictures January 1 so that their home is on the market. Because actually what we find is that in Q1 of every year, the highest list to sale price is always those sellers that take advantage of when the inventory is the lowest. So right now in November, December, and January, that's when the most savvy sellers are thinking about going to the market. And number four, as a buyer, you need to have good representation. It's not hard to find a home these days with apps like Redfin and Zillow. The most important part though is who's advocating for you and who's negotiating on your behalf. So we see that 70% of buyers just start working with the first agency they meet without doing their due diligence and finding out what is that agent's qualifications? Is this their part-time job that they do, you know, in between shifts at Denny's or is this something that they do day in and day out and really pay attention to the market and what's going on? So making sure that you're working with someone who is really going to do the best job for you is super important. And I think we've found a lot of those part-time agents slinging those moons over my hammy. But the fifth one is always going to be pricing. You have to know the market. So the market that we're in is shifting. It's not down market or it's not an up market, but it's shifting to where demand is decreasing and obviously inventory is still low and interest rates are going to be high. So are you having that conversation with your agent to really figure out, hey, what is my true market value today, end of 2022, moving into 2023? Because overpricing a home only does one thing. It allows you to take less money for the property and it takes a longer time to get that sale done. So always knowing the strategy and just being transparent and saying, this is what my home value is worth, usually ends up netting you more money because we end up getting multiple offers and getting that buyer that not only pays you the highest, but gives you the best terms. So if you're thinking about selling or buying, hey, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Call us at 714-497-0160.